Hello everyone, I'm Ember. And hi, my name is Edwin. I'm Chief Digital Transformation Officer in our Huawei Enterprise Business Group. I help our customers and our partners with their digital journey, and I am a part-time lecturer in Huawei Academy. Wow, seems you have so many daily activities. Very busy, aren't you? I'm quite busy, yes, but I do have a magic tool that helps me get through the day more efficiently. Magic? What is it? Very magic. It's right behind us. It's the Huawei Idea Hub board. What do you think of that? You mean my first impression? What would be your first impression? I think it's so stylish and elegant. I mean, I really like the JY color, the thin board, and the simple but fashionable appearance. You know, less is more. Less indeed is more. That's a very powerful statement. You know, we really try to bring together high-end technology with state-of-the-art design and engineering into one look and feel. And this is what it is. I mean, look at these legs. It's yep. like almost not touching the floor. I think it's like the legs of a ballet dancer. Ooh, that is a very good way of putting it. The legs of a dancer. Would you like me to show you how it works? Sure. Then let's do that. So, this is the Huawei Idea Hub board, in which we solve a few powerful issues in daily operations. Some of them are actually hidden, for example, uh, blue light. Working with a screen a long, long time, especially for children and students in class, is a huge brain drainer. And a few ways of solving that is with software or with hardware. Hardware is most stable. For example, with glasses. You put on your glasses, and it takes away the blue light, and that allows you to be more healthy when working with a screen like this. But sometimes you forget your glasses, and then there is an option for software, like on your smartphone. Uh, but I remember when I turn on the icon for mode on my phone, you know, the screen turns yellow, right? So it is always hard for me to make a choice between accurate color display and eye protection. And in return, when you see that the screen is changing from colors, you're changing the colors back, which means you're bypassing actually the function what it is there for, which is to protect your health. So this is what we did. We took the hardware function and the software capabilities into an embedded hardware enhancement built in in the screen. So this screen automatically adjusts background light and takes away the harmful blue light into harmless blue light. And that makes it more easy and more focusing to work with. Can we prove this? You, I mean, can we make it visible? We have obtained a test certification for, from TÜV in Germany, which is one of the highest in test institutions in Europe for these kind of certifications. So we solved the problem of low blue light with embedded technology. Another problem that we've solved is using smart screens as you know it. Putting your pen on the screen never is accurate. If you draw the line, there is a bit of latency, right? So this is what we've done. We've created a solution called Zero Gap Technology. The inner layer of the screen and the outer layer of the screen are mapped so close together that it has a zero gap. Technically speaking, that's very innovative, but what it really solves is the idea that you're writing on paper. With a solution like this, it really feels like you're writing on paper. Really? Absolutely. Would you Let like to try, try it? it? All right, yes. and this is what we do. I get a piece of paper, Yep. I hold it here, mm -hmm. I take a pen myself, a regular pen, a white paper pen, mm -hmm. you know, ink, and you take one of the smart board pens, Let's and we just draw a line in the same speed, and we see if there is a bit of latency. Ah, okay. Let's we'll do try. that. So, piece of paper, thank you. Here we go. I click on the whiteboard function. Yep. This is the whiteboard function. Ready? Yeah. I follow your lead, so whatever line you draw, I draw too. Okay. One, two, three, go. Here we go. How's that, huh? Yeah. How is that for zero latency? So smooth. How is that for a feeling of writing on paper? Yes. Very much on paper. Yeah, it's just like writing on a real paper. Very much, very much. So this means now we have a very intuitive way of teaching and learning. For example, in drawing class. Mm -hmm. You know Pictionary? Yep. So I draw shall your we, guess. Shall we play it? You okay. draw and I guess? Yep. Okay. Erase this we one, erase right? The, we erase this in a very simple way. Oh, How's just, that? Just like this. Just like wow. that. With your hand. It's so convenient. With your palm. No dirtiness on the sleeve or on your 
arm of your jacket or whatever, right? Like a, like a blackboard and chalk. So, please go ahead. Mm, what would you like to draw? I will guess. And you okay. can guess with us. Okay. Like... How about this one? That's like a hand? No. Not really? Yeah. It's like a dog, it's missing some eyes here and there? No. Then I really have no clue, I'm sorry. Yeah, actually it's a cactus. A cactus? Yes. But a cactus has these things, you know, Ooh. these spikes and all that. Sorry for my poor drawing. That's all right. But we are in class as we are right now. Shall we pretend as if we are in drawing class? So why don't you join us as well? In 10 lines, you can draw any picture you like. How's that for a class? Okay, let's okay. begin. Just do as I do, and you take pen and paper and do the same right now in the room where you are watching this. Just a pen and paper. We start with a little figure that you all know, which is something like this. Very good. Now give it two bubbles. Give it a reversed C. C, here. Anywhere you like. Two dots. And now any kind of hairstyle or hairdo that you would like. So in my case, instead of spikes, I'm going curly. Yeah, I like curly hair too. Very good. Now give it a little corner, a little line from the ear down. Okay. Like a swirl, a little line from the chin down. Now you can choose either a V-neck or... A V-neck? A V-neck. Like Very good. A line to the right. The shoulder, right? A line to the left. Like this. And there you have it. Succeeded. Worked. Now let's alter this picture. I sometimes need glasses. So I'm going to give my character some glasses, just like that. No, I don't like glasses. You don't like glasses? Why wear one? You already have okay. one. How about brushy eyebrows like this? Like the mustache. How about more brighter eye? A necklace. Necklace. Yeah. You're really getting the hang of it. I'm giving it my character a little mustache. This one actually looks like my teacher from the past. Little curly hair. How's that for drawing class? Less than 10 lines. And you can learn anything you would like to draw. Yeah. Cool? Yeah, super cool. How about we try something more colorful? Wait a second. Uh-huh, for what? I need to take the photo. For what? For personal saving. Personal saving is so old school. There's an easier way to oh, do really? it. We click the save button here, uh -huh. and here we can choose. You scan the QR code, which is right here, and it will pull the picture to your smart device. Uh -huh. We click on the mail button here, and here is a Wow. Or pull out menu that actually allows you to insert any email address, including your own, if this is what you want to send to yourself. Wow. Or if we click local, uh -huh. it will save it on the whiteboard itself in a local folder or a cloud folder, if that's where your files are shared. How's that? It's so convenient. So convenient. So no need to save. But we are going to an other screen. So we're going to an other screen setting. We're going to white. So let's yeah. erase this. You want to arrange it in the old-fashioned way or in one clear all? And we're going to go to a setting that allows us, for example, to have a meeting about organizational structures. Mm -hmm. We're going to change the organizational structure. So, for example, we are drawing an org chart, for example, that usually looks like this, right? Oh. But wow. as you can see now, it automatically beautifies it and creates it in a way that is needed. We can actually create a line like that and it automatically fits into where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to be a genius when it comes to drawing. I can draw a triangle, which is not that cool, but the system automatically transfers it into circles and diagrams. You want to give it a try? Wow. So I don't worry if I cannot draw a standard run. Very cool, right? Yes. Very cool. Now, something else, how about writing, because this is drawing, how about yeah. writing different writing styles? Mm -hmm. So, we erase this again, we clear okay. it all. Normally speaking, when you're writing something, regular writing is like this, right? Regular writing yeah. is something like... And we hope that everybody can read it. Mm -hmm. Just like if you can write your name. Like... Amber, yeah. or Office, mm -hmm. right? And we hope that everybody can read this. 
not that easy sometimes. So we can beautify this a little bit. We can change from a brush or a writing style to regular text. So what we do now is when I'm writing my name, not that nice, it transposes it into system, oh. system font. So this makes it very easy to transfer from a digital screen with a handwriting style into a system style. So if we copy this to Word documents, we don't need to have you know, handwriting in a Word document. We have system writing style already. So that's what the Idea Hub board is about. Now, let's move to something else. Uh, streaming, screen sharing, you know, connectivity. Yep, so we need a lot of cables, right? Cables are 2020. We are in 2021. Oh, really? No more cables. We go wireless. Wow. Which is right here. Uh -huh. So different ways to share the screen and to cast information from your screen to a smart board like this. For example, you can project from your PC or computer screen. Your mobile phone can be projected and shared with the screen in a number of different ways. Here is a button that if we click it, it opens up a QR code and when you scan it, just follow the instructions and then share the screen. So this is for all phones, right? This is for all phones and including computers or tablets if they have a camera that is able to share or uh, capture the QR code. But in your case, I think you have a smartphone, right? Yes. Is it of the right brand? Yes. A Huawei phone really works very well in this particular case. So if you open up the smartphone screen, if you pull down your smartphone screen, there is a number of options. One of them is wireless sharing or sharing. If you can do that now, and then follow the instructions in the screen. Ooh. And there you have it. So this is the screen of your smartphone. These are yes. the applications on your smartphone. And this is very easy sharing and casting of information on your smartphone. For example, if this is the device that has your homework or that has specific additional information to add to your homework while you're, for example, in class and you're sharing your homework, then this would be a very interesting feature. You know, no computers, no cables and no hassle. Share yeah. the screen. Like. So you got something to share? Oh, here, look at that. I see you already share your albums, your photos. Yes, I have some photos of my hometown. Oh, fantastic. You know, I'm from Chengdu, mm -hmm. the hometown of pandas. Hometown of the pandas. You have pictures of the pandas? Actually, I've got a video. A like video this. of the pandas. Fantastic. Yes. Oops, oh. sorry, sorry. Oh. Let's sorry, wait with fault. the playing of the video. Information security, privacy protection is also an individual setting. We can have a lot of technology that can solve that but also you need to be prone to your own privacy protection and identity protection. So, two ways of doing this. Any smart device, of course, has a setting that you need to find and then slide into activate do not disturb, just like we have right here. So on your smartphone, there is this icon that you can search. It's the blue one on the top. Oh, I found it. Good, but you do not have to do this on your smartphone. Oh, really? You can do this on the screen. Can I touch the screen? You can touch the blue button on the screen. It'll work? It will work because just like what you already know in sharing your computer with a large screen like this and where you don't have to go to your computer to flip the slide in the PowerPoint, you can do this from your screen, right? You can control your PowerPoint. Same, we've brought this into the smart environment that you see here. So click the blue button on the screen. Okay. We call this reversed control. Like this? Like Ooh, that. It works. And here you can select hide notifications. Just slide the icon and enable that. So now your phone is on do not disturb. The information you're sharing is not interrupted with personal messages or private messages, just like it is supposed to be. So let's watch the video again. Okay. Which you can control from the screen. Yep. And you can tilt your phone to make it like this? A full screen, because a Ooh, big animal needs a big screen. And also from here, we can go back to the beginning. We can even edit and cut a few pieces. So reverse control on your mobile device using a super size version of a mobile device. This is a mobile operation mode. The Idea Hub board becomes a super sized tablet. Every video streaming app has an option to either share or cast that screen as well. Here, also on the smartphone, or on a Huawei smartphone, if you open one of your streaming apps, it has a little icon in the top toolbar that either says sharing or TV. I've already got one. You got one? Yeah. So if you play and oh. then click TV share. I found it. 
then here, wow. it's playing, uh -huh. as you can see. And it's playing in full screen. Now, suppose you are either in class or suppose you are a mom and you're home teaching your kids or you're trying to keep your kids a little quiet, then this is a movie that you can show them, but yes. you on your smartphone can continue to use your office applications or your business applications. So in this way, we got a floating window here, mm -hmm. no interrupt for students in class, for example, and the teacher, perhaps during this time, can send additional messages to the back office information system or to the janitor or what have you. So also here, an exact same example, not only of reverse control, but reverse controlled operations. Your supersized screen really is an equivalent to your smartphone screen. And this is a mobile phone operation mode. So that is mobile sharing with a mobile phone. Yes, I see. So the laptop supports the wireless projection too? Yes, it does in exactly the same way. So just like you've just seen with using a smartphone and casting and sharing the screen of your smartphone, it also works with your tablet or your computer. There is also another way. So you can either follow that as an instruction or we have an idea share key. You plug this into the USB port of your computer and after the idea share key is inserted and synchronized and the light indicator is not blinking anymore, the only thing I have to do or the only thing that we have to do is click the button and it will automatically share the screen wow, it works. as you see here. And to prevent us from going back and forth to control on the computer the next page, for example, and then back here, if we click the toolbar and we go to reverse control, just like we've seen previously, then now we're also able to slide back and forth into these pages and so on. And if we think that these numbers are not correct or we'd like to leave some annotation, we can go to the annotation section and we can write in a different color, for example, in this way, that this number is correct, this number is not correct, and we need a presentation title. Just like that. And basically, when we're done sharing, we click the button again, the screen will close, and we can move on to our work. But this is not all. Certainly, this is not all. This is an application that runs on your computer. An application that runs on your computer can be shared and cast to a screen like this. What if you don't have your computer? What if you didn't bring your computer, but there are applications to share? For example, cloud-based applications or applications that are running locally. There is a very simple function on an idea hub board like this, which moves us from a tablet mode into a computer mode. So we're converting this supersize tablet, this supersize smartphone into a supersize computer screen by clicking this button. And as you can see on the screen here, this now is your supersize computer. And as any computer, if you click the home button of the computer, you're getting your drop down and your pull down menus that have installed, just like on your computer, applications, office applications, collaboration applications. So now you work in a computer mode. Multiple functions, really this is the magic of an idea hub board that powers my imagination. So it's really a hub for ideas in a supersize smart board. Yes, powerful. Tremendously powerful. I really love it. Can I take it in my office now? Not yet. Why? Because I need it for a few more minutes. This is the power of the Idea Hub board. This is a board that fits your classroom, your open office space, and your meeting and team rooms. So find out from your local Huawei contact if there is a demo unit available, or even better, purchase one. Uh, sorry, one, sorry, one moment. Hi, it's, yes, another demo. Now, I gotta go, sorry. See you, Idea Hub board, get one. Hi boss, I got a special present for you. Yes, I'm on my way now. Yeah, I have, uh, I have one in my room as a demo, but I, ca I cannot believe how high demand these devices are. It's gone, it's gone. I need, to go, I need to go find it. It's gone, it was just here a minute ago. I need to go find it. <sighs> Found it. It was in the other office. That's how easy such a mobile device can be in any different office or classroom environment. Get one for yourself. 
find your Huawei contact, ask for a demo, or better, purchase one, purchase two, collaborate. That's what the power of IdeaHub board is.